Okay, <laughs> I went to Menards to uh, see if I could get some little doorknobs. I'm sorry, I keep saying door, but it's drawer, drawer knobs for my custom jewelry bench I'm building. And uh, they were $3.99 a piece, the, the small ones, chrome topped. Uh, they were probably a little more fancy than I wanted anyway. So I said, to heck with that, I'll just make my own. So I'm on the lathe, and this is kind of how I do it. I cut the, the shaft down here first, then I uh, center drill it so I have a center on it. I run to the, a uh, 30, I think it's a 30, 31 drill into the uh, stock of that. I thread that, and then I come in the back of this which uh, I'll show you here. I come into the back over here like that and uh, see if we can get a better picture of it. And I Cut it right here, and I make a, a little drawer knob, and uh, I have eight drawers, so I got one, two, three, four, five, and this is number six, so we'll have uh, two more to go, and I'll have those knobs ready to go, and then I got to build a uh, catch tray for it yet, and uh, I don't know, I, I'm thinking about trimming the front of it. Uh, with maybe oak or, or opal or maple, I mean, and <laughs> you can tell this is early Sunday morning. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, uh, the jewelry bench will be quite a lot bigger than I would normally use. Uh, it's 20, 24 inches wide. It's uh, 48 inches long, 39 inches high, which seems to be the standard once again. I have left it so I could drop it down a little bit if I had absolutely had to, but it would be a, be a nightmare to try and do it. <laughs> but it could be done, so <clears throat> I'm used to about 36 inches high. But uh, that is a little bit low, I think, so we'll see what happens here. And uh, once I get that built, I'm hoping to build a little tripod for the camera and uh, so I can do a straight-down view and, uh, as I do jury work. Uh, then we can get back to jury clock, and uh, I do like to show a little bit of watch repair, but, you know, it's, it's mostly pocket watch for those who... Well, uh, I'm on the bench yet, might want to, as actually, usual. I'm nowhere near where I wanted to be, uh, but it was Christmas, so that's, uh, that's okay, I guess. Anyway, right now, as you can see, I'll get to see if I can get in here. I drew some lines on the uh, bench, and I'm going to make a cut around it, and I just started. Uh, it took me uh, a week to think about this. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why everybody has a curve in their bench, and why I can't just have a straight bench straight across, you know, just straight across here. But I got to looking at that, and I think part of that is, is for tooling. So you can see your tools down below in your, dra in your tray. Uh, it's the only thing I can think of that it's actually for. So I put my little jigsaw together and we, uh, we'll cut this line out. And this is, uh, uh, let's see if I can point to it. Let's see here. This is three quarter inch plywood. It's not hardwood. I wish I, wish I would have made the top hardwood, but I didn't. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put another piece underneath of this so it's a little thicker. And because uh, I want to drill some holes to uh, use the mandrels in it. And uh, I also want to build a, a drawer for a, a solder pad, which I'll show you here later on. I haven't designed that out just yet. But the rest of it's pretty well. Uh, the catch tray will go down in here. You can see that and uh, I'll build that here probably today 
So the idea is to get everything done and then stain it. So and it, or paint it, one or the other. I, I really still haven't decided on that. So but we'll go ahead and cut this and do a little more and I'll show you what I'm doing. I all I have is a table saw, a cutoff saw, jigsaw. That's about it. Nothing fancy to build this with. And you can see that I built the drawers and uh, made the, the knobs for the drawers. That was kind of fun. So we'll uh, continue on. This is uh, what I'm talking about. <laughs> dog wants out. Of course, you know, just get stirred on something, the dog wants out. Yeah, that's hell. There he is over there. So this is a two by six that I got started here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to take it on the table saw and make this edge nice and sharp. And then I'll glue it in, uh, in place and then screw it down. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this area here out so it matches this. And that'll be our thickness. So if we want to put some holes in here for the mandrel and a few other things, we got a thickness that we can do it with. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay. I sold this off, just shaved a little bit of it off so it's nice and square here around the bottom just so you don't come up here and hit it with your hand and <clears throat> nail yourself uh, my uh, lines <laughs> I drew the line you see shaving it off that much I have to redo that line then we'll go ahead and cut that out and uh, that'll be glued in here and we'll let it dry and we'll tighten her up with some bolts and uh, set up for the, the bench pin. Okay, I just uh, clamped the uh, 2x6 to my uh, bench there out far enough so that I can go ahead and cut the circle out of it. Uh, I couldn't do it. Uh, the, the blade won't go down another three quarters of an inch. So got to do it separate and then I'll put it back in there and sand the whole thing again but that'll work nice you can see where I itch, cut the edge off here got a little bit of a burn saw mark there and I'll sand that out real quick and uh, should be good you see where I started my cut and there's our lines Well, we'll get that part done and I did a trial continue. fit. It's close. Going to need to do a little bit of sanding. Uh, I only have that little peanut sander, so it'll have to do. But I've got the glue on it now, so we'll go ahead and clamp it and underneath and glue it tight. And we'll set a couple bolts, screws in there of some sort. And uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, today's Saturday, and uh, this is kind of silly, but I went ahead, instead of spending 2 or $3 for a knob, I went ahead and made eight knobs for the eight drawers on my jewelry bench. And uh, these are the last uh, five that I needed to make. So, they're done, and it probably took me two, two hours probably. Maybe, maybe not quite that much, but right in that area, but... I probably used up about a buck's worth of uh, uh, aluminum and uh, two dollars worth of uh, screws. So, I, like I said, I'm not sure whether I come out on this or not. But anyway, I made the the, the little knobs that I wanted because I, I didn't want the big ones. Couldn't find anything in the store that I really liked. And the wood ones had wood screws going through them. And uh, didn't like that either. So, because that's not going to hold up. But. I think these will. I've got three on the bench already, so I'll bring these back to the back bench and then we'll take a look at what's, what we've done so far.
Okay, I set out to uh, finish making all the knobs for the drawers, and they're done, and I got them all put on. So, <clears throat> the next thing I'll finish up is the catch pan. I've been kind of putting that off to last because I'm not sure how I want to make it. But uh, you can see I always got a pile of tools piled everywhere. <laughs> but uh, it's coming along really well. Uh, there's a lot of brad holes, and I'm going to fill all of those in with putty. And uh, I think we will go ahead and stain this. And uh, that'll probably take a couple days. But I still got a uh, catch pan to make. And if I decide to make some uh, other drawers for it or, or, or not, haven't decided yet. But I've got the uh, curve cut in the uh, top. And uh, I'll build a curve for the catch pan too. So it comes out a little further and uh, catches all the gold and solder that drops or anything else that's hot i'll put it i'm gonna try and make a pedal, metal pan for it so i think we'll just wrap up this series and uh we'll start the uh next one uh I'm at, i'll make the catch pan and then i'll get this thing stained so and i gotta put some pieces across the top there to keep things from falling off but all in all i think we're pretty getting pretty close to calling this project finished so bear with me for a couple more days, two or three more days, and we'll, I'm kind of anxious to get this project done.